made me crazy, girl. My head's spinning right, yeah, it's on a twirl. I try to give you all my whole world. You gotta make up your mind or so. Hey guys, so today's look I incorporated a green eyeshadow. Green eyeshadow is amazing on brown eyes, blue eyes, and for hazel eyes they make them appear even more green. I really enjoyed creating this look for you guys today, and if you enjoy it, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe before you go. And if you want to know how to get this green smoky eye, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so to start off, I am taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And then for foundation, I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion and the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I like mixing these two because one of them is a little light and one of them is just a tad dark for me. So I like mixing these two to get that coverage and the finish that I like. And then for concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape and I am actually going to be putting these on my lid, under my eye, and um, on my nose, my cupid's bow, just places that I want to highlight and conceal. And I'm patting that in with a flat top brush and then I'll go in with a smaller detailed brush so that I can get a really nice base on my eyelid. And then I'm just patting everything in with a damp beauty sponge. And I'm taking the RCMA No Color Powder to set my eyelids and my under eyes and basically my entire face. And then we're jumping right into brows and I'm going to be using the Goof Proof um, Brow Pencil from Benefit. And I'm starting off obviously by brushing through my brows to get rid of the foundation or the powder that sits on top and then I will just be filling those in. And to start off the eyes, I'm actually going in with the old Jaclyn Hill Favorites Palette by Morphe. I just got the new Favorites Palette and have already gotten a few requests to do a video with it, so look out for that. But for now, I'm taking that orangey yellow shade as a transition, so I'm building up that color in my crease. I'm taking this red-brown color on a precise blending brush to deepen up the crease and then with ABH Fudge, I'm being even more precise and focusing that on the outer edge and bringing in whatever is left on the brush in the crease. For lid color, I'm going back into the Morphe palette and packing that green on the inner to almost the outer part of my lid. Now I'm going into this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and taking this green color onto my lid. I sprayed my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus to really intensify the color. I like doing this with shimmer colors because I feel like it really makes the colors pop. You can use setting sprays for this or even eye drops. And going back into the Comfort Zone palette, I'm taking the Crease shade. It's like a dark forest green. It has a little bit of gold reflex in it. I find that when I use a synthetic brush and just pack that on the outer edge, the gold reflex kind of just dust away. And I'm just blending that out so that there are no harsh lines. And now I'm highlighting the brow bone and I'm taking like a white shade with some sheen to it. And now I'm tight lining with a black pencil liner. And I'm sure you are an expert at wing liner. And if you aren't, be sure to check out my last video where I show you step by step on how I do my wing liner. And here I'm just taking the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara to just give my lashes a quick coat of mascara. And here I'm just taking the Rimmel Scandalized Brown Liner and smudging that in with the brown red shade that I had put in the crease earlier and then deepening it up with that green shade from the Comfort Zone palette. And I'm using the same mascara to apply that to my lower lash line. And I'm taking that green lid shade that we used and I'm just putting that on the inner corner of the lower lash line. And I'm taking that white shade that we used to highlight the brow bone into the inner corner. For falsies, I'm taking these Christina lashes. They're super long and wispy. I like how lightweight they feel and they aren't too heavy and don't take away from the eyes so you can still see the green shadow. And now I'm applying mascara to blend my real lashes with the falsies. 
So I didn't really think that the brown was cutting it. So I'm taking an angled brush and applying that green lid shade from the Comfort Zone palette to my waterline. And to bronze up my face, I'm taking the Black Radiance Bronzer in the shade Ebony on a big fluffy brush. And then I'm using the same shade but on a dome brush to really chisel out my cheeks and give my nose some definition. Now I'm using a beauty sponge and translucent powder to clean all that up. So I'm setting my face with the Milani setting spray and then I'm taking a damp sponge and pressing it into my skin so that the powders kind of just melt into my skin. I've been loving this technique lately and it helps the products last longer and it also gives a more flawless and smooth finish. Now I'm highlighting the high points of my cheeks, my nose, and my cupid's bow with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. For lips, I'm taking a deep brown MAC lipstick on a pencil brush and lining my lips and lightly filling them in. And then I'm using this nude lippy from NYX and just blending those two together. And that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!